welcome, welcome to another week of vlogging. Yes, good morning shoppers. It's Monday. It's fucking cold outside. It's absolutely bloody freezing to be exact. I think it was something like three degrees when I left this morning. And I have a new bike. Yes. I decided to reduce the size of my stable a little bit and I wanted to get something that I enjoyed for me that I'm not going to get bored of and for me there was no other bike other than the BMW S1000 RR uh, the 2012 to 2014 facelift of the first gen has always been my you know favorite out of them and uh, I've had three S1000 RRs this being my third um, the only reason I got rid of my last one was because of something to do with my ex-wife I'm not going to go into the details of it but uh, I regretted that decision ever since that day and decided that uh, you know if I could ever have one again I would and uh, what's more this time I would not be getting rid of it so I decided to put the CBR up for sale and I've got this instead so this is going to be the new face of the channel she's a 2013 S1000 RR it's funny how all my bikes seem to be from 2013 but hey ho what a year what a year um, she is absolutely gorgeous She's in the Sex Panther Black. Oh, yeah. And she is an absolute riot to ride. Um, just to go through the odds and sods of what she has. What are you doing, you fucking cock munch? You absolute penis. Bus wankers. Just to go through the odds and sods of what she has. Um, so she doesn't have the auto blip or anything like that like the new ones have but she's got a uh, quick shifter for the uh, up shifts uh, heated grips four modes rain sport race and slick nick which is always good um, super super comfortable super comfortable um, probably one of the most comfortable bikes I've ever ridden on the road I've fucked this one up royally haven't I so I'm trying to... oh. see bus wankers ruin my day every day fucking bus wanking pieces of shit I must have to sit here now anyway uh, four riding modes the wheels on these things, I love them so much. I don't know how BMW do it. They're not powder coated. They've, they've got some sort of lacquer on them. They are so shiny, it is unreal. Um, I've, I've loved these bikes so much since they came out. Um, for me, this is the Swiss army knife of bikes. It can literally do anything. Like, you can go and blitz a track day, or you can whack some soft panniers on it and go touring around the Alps, you know? It's, it's one of those one tool does all, and you'll absolutely love it, bikes. It's not, it's not for the faint-hearted, don't get me wrong. It's not for the faint-hearted. It is super quick on acceleration like you can literally hit warp speed in the blink of an eye um, but it is supremely comfortable for a superbike and I mean really comfortable like I've just jumped on this I haven't dicked around with any of the suspension settings like I normally would and I'm so comfortable there's no back pain, which I normally get because I'm quite tall. 
Uh, there's no nothing. It's just, it's just absolutely sublime, and I love it. Um, figures wise, you're looking at almost, almost 200 out of the box, pretty much. Um, this is completely bog stock standard, other than the HP4 levers. What are you doing, you cop? Um, the reason why was because I wanted one as stock, because I'm going to do a little series with this about modding the bike, so um, I'm going to kind of show you how I go about modding this and what what my thought processes are behind it. I've already got a lot of ideas for it, um, which I will share with you guys. I'm going to do like a little mini series on this uh, outside of my normal vlogs. Um, what else can I say about this absolute masterpiece? I mean, yes, it was a bike when it came out that divided opinion because it wasn't aesthetical. That it has mismatching front headlamps, which some people love, others hate, you know, and it just depends on what your viewpoint is. I mean, for me, I don't care about the, the mismatching headlights. I like it because it's different. And I like to be different. I'm not a sheep. I'm more of a, I'm more of a tiger. I don't follow the crowd. If everyone was like, yes, you know, white is the coolest colour, I'd wear black. Just because I can. It's not because of ego or anything like that. I just don't, I just don't agree with following trends to an extent. Um, I always believe you should be yourself, even if being yourself is not what society thinks you should be. So what? Um, obviously I've got this one used. There was a reasoning behind me going for a used bike and why I didn't go for one of the newer ones. I just noticed his tail lights out. Oh, it's because it smashed the fuck, that's why. Uh, yeah, there was a reasoning behind me going for the used one as opposed to one of the new ones. Which is that, uh, insurance wise as well, like people just generally don't want to touch you on the brand new stuff at the moment. And to be honest, for the money that this was, I got this for less than 10 grand, which is just criminal considering the amount of performance this has. This still has more brake horsepower than the new Fireblade, which is actually quite amusing. Uh, not for Honda Fireblade owners, obviously. Um, I am one. And this bike has always been like a nemesis of those guys. And a lot of, you know, you get a lot of the brand loyal people who slate this and it's like, okay, go ride one then we'll see. I've tried, I tried to hate this bike when it came out, but it's just so good that uh, you just can't, you can't hate it. It's just so clinically good. See, that guy right there is the reason why people hate cyclists, because he went sailing through a red light, he's then straight in your way when he's got this little cycle super highway that's cost millions of taxpayers' pounds that he could use. But no, he wants to be a cock on a Monday morning and straight through another red light. Look at that, back on point. So, um, out of the box, this has to be one of the best super bikes that money can buy. The only gripe that I have with it is that uh, it does, you do tend to have to give it the berries to get it to pull away a little bit. Um, it's not as kind of talk. Well, I don't want to say talky. You just don't get as much pull from the clutch as you do from other bikes on it. So, like when you hold other bikes on the bike point, you don't get as much pull from the clutch. So, slightly annoying there. But uh, that's the only gripe I have about it. You know, other than that, this thing is an absolute 
joy to ride. Uh, as I said, this is my third one of these. I had a 2010 one, which uh, when they first came out, which was just too much bike for me. And the 2010 models had this thing whereby they had this like in the power band where um, if you, it was like it went dead and then the full power surged back in again and it was really, really off-putting. But then to be honest, it was too much bike for me at the time. Um, I allowed myself to be driven by ego um, because I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm good enough to, to handle this now and I wasn't. And it was only thankfully that the bike has got so many systems on it that uh, I wasn't seriously, seriously injured. So uh, I learned my lesson and then I, I sort of went away and did a lot longer on 600s and then came back to um, the litre bikes again. Um, and then I finally got a brand new one of these in 2014, which is just biblically good. Um, and like I say, I, I regretted selling that one. Uh, if certain things hadn't happened, and if I, again, hadn't allowed certain things to happen, then I would still have it, no doubt, um, because it was just an amazing bike. Um, I'll do a bit more of an in-depth review on this. This is just a kind of introductory, you know, hello, and this is going to be the new face of the channel. But, uh, yeah, I'll do a bit more of a introductory um, not vlog but a more of a review on this bike I mean obviously the weather is getting worse now so that may take a little while in coming and it depends on when I can get out of a weekend to do it because I can't really do something like that on my ride to work really because uh, you won't be able to see much so I will do that for you as soon as I can. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed the introduction to the new machine. And I hope you look forward to seeing much more of her on the channel. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. And please feel free to give me any feedback. I do value your feedback and I will always try and listen to you and try to incorporate what you have asked for in my videos. So until the next time guys, Take care, muskets at dawn, adios amigos.